to lose. And I told you guys all week long, everybody just run your way. Nobody has to play a ball in their head. Nobody has to play. I'm Wayne Viner, that's Mason Viner, this is a big dog post game show. We will be back once it quiets down here after the press conference. It's been a good day, Mason. Yes, it has. Terps win, 7-5, and, and we're going bowling. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. The noise has died down here at CQ Stadium after the Terps' big win. Absolutely dominating performance. Mace, it took until 3.52 or something was left in the third quarter for Rutgers to get their third first down. That's a very, very dominating defensive performance. It might not have shown on the scoreboard how one-sided this was. What's that say about the growth of the team? Uh, well, that's a challenging question. I still think there's a lot, lot to be said. But the fact that you know they played through it this year, Ahmed McCullough was talking about that, and the culture change. It all starts from mindset. That's something that Loxley's been trying to push here. And you know, days like today, that shows. And it, it may have been the most complete game they played the entire year. It could be. You you spent about 15 minutes with McCullough after the game. Uh, did you come up with anything interesting about the growth of the defense? Not not anything that was you know groundbreaking, but just talking about the culture of the team and, and what he's seen over his time here at Maryland and just the specific growth of players and mindset and things like that to believe that uh, this team can win big games. This team can compete at the, at the highest level. They have the players to do it. And a few times this year we've seen them do that. But it's a, the, the every week about it is, is a place that I think uh, all the players that we talk to know that that's missing. And they just have to take it to that next level if they really want to uh, make a hard push at, at playing in a New Year's Bowl game or, or winning the Big Ten. That certainly would be progress from here. Team came so close to having that eighth game. You look back on that Purdue game as, as we often do and go, wow, we, we almost had that one. Uh, for me, it, it's you got seven wins during the regular season. Yes, that does guarantee Mike Loxley one more year in his contract. I believe it's a 2025 season. But things are, I think they're still looking up. You say there's a lot more to do. I absolutely agree with that. Uh, not everybody who walked out on senior day as a senior uh, might leave. Some of those guys still have a year of eligibility left. Mike Loxley brought up that Jay Sean Jones might be convinced to spend one more year in College Park. For me, pound for pound, he's absolutely one of the best players on this team. The guy does everything that you ask of him. It's great to see him have a, a wonderful, if this was his final game, Sort of puts an end on that three touchdown performance we saw him when he burst onto the scene against Texas. And now, years later, he has a, a fantastic and what could have been his final game here in College Park. Look, overall, do you think that this marks growth or is this sort of a, a staying in place for this program? Uh, it marks growth. You know, you win more games, that, that that's how things are judged. Whether the opponents were better than they were last year, whether the, you know, whether they beat anybody that was any good, you know, all those things you throw out there, you play the teams in front of you, 
and pound for pound, Maryland plays the best year in, year out. Teams that uh, make it to the playoff, teams that you know win national championships and have won them in the past. And this year, look, they didn't win the games, but it takes time. You have to grow as a unit. Few teams, I would say, replace a coach or something like that, and the next year they're instantly that good. We had that here at Maryland uh, in the early 2000s. TCU's experiencing it right now, but few times does that happen. And look, if they win the bowl game, they win eight games in a year. That's it's been a long, cool. a long time since we've seen that here, and it's been it's twelve years. Yeah. So, you know, you win a game thirty-seven to nothing. One thing that you brought up as the clock ran down in the fourth quarter is whether Maryland's up by thirty-seven or down by thirty-seven. What did you say? The fans leave the stadium twenty-one thousand seven hundred ninety-four. That was the official attendance to the game today. That is atrocious. Yeah. That is terrible. And, and, and with about nine minutes left, most of them picked up and went home. Yeah. Well, there really wasn't much to see here. I can't blame that many people for it. But well, that doesn't it? Look, last year, this is some numbers for you. Last year, Maryland's game against Michigan, they were like 500 fans on average short of 40,000 as the average attendance, which is not bad. This year, that number is a lot closer to 30. Uh, one game with over 40,000, which was last week against Ohio State, 41,000. And more than one game where you're under 30,000 fans that get into the building, that's not going to win um, That's not going to win you games. That's not going to give you a true home field advantage, especially in this league. And it's something that I think the people that run this athletic department need to take yeah. more, more seriously. Because right now I'm not seeing anything in terms of corporate partnerships or anything to uh, get people into the stadium. And these are things we can talk about in the offseason, but thank you all for watching. Uh, it has certainly been an interesting season. There's sparks of real hope here in building a program. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner. Thanks for watching the Big Dog Post Game Show. Uh, we'll be back, hopefully within a week, talking about where the bowl game is. Good afternoon from College Park.